Hi everybody, Dave Shopius here. Welcome to my robot lab. Uh, today we are going to be hooking up relays to Tom W's light board. You saw me have this in, in uh, how to hook this up and how it works in, in one of my other videos, so go check that out. Um, the nice thing about Tom's board here is you can have light effects through this little header right here. Uh, you can solder wires right to it. I like to put a header pin on there. Let me see if I can... Oop, where is it at? There she is. Uh, zoom in. Hopefully you can see it down there. See that little white right there? That is my header pin. Um, I got It's just a Molex header pin. I've got a soldered right to these holes and then I'm going to have wire going to a female pin that will pin right onto it. That's a nice nice neat um, connection disconnection point. So those uh, will be hooked into the um, load side of this relay and this this will handle two of those holes. So one hole will be on one and one hole on the other. These uh, these are for light effects, like I mentioned. I think I mentioned that. You can you can have like the um, the main one we're going to be talking about today is the power pack pole where everything goes dark. So if you ground uh, the the ground pin, which is a little square pin, to I think pin number five here, it'll make this it'll make this board to shut down slowly like he's being like he's being robbed of power. So really really cool effect um, and. I'm just going to run the ground, a number five, through one of these uh, normally, it'll be normally open so when the relay closes um, it'll ground that and make that effect happen. The other effects you can have, you can have kind of a box effect, you can have a scanner effect, you can make it go really slow or really fast, um, make him look like he's thinking. So um, basically, like I said on the load side, again you can handle two devices or two of my holes. Um, these will handle up to 10, 15 amps, I think, per side, but this doesn't pull any amps at all. Uh, it's just, you're just grounding over the, the pin. It might be a fraction of an amp, if anything. Um, so we're just going, once this, once this relay closes, it, it'll, it'll uh, close the one side that's normally open and um, ground that side across. Really simple. Um, how do you do that? Uh, I'm going to do it through the EZB. That's it's through. You guys could use a Adreno, or you can use a push button, or a, a toggle switch, or anything. Um, but um, basically, here on this side, you you have power coming in. Since my robot's going to be all 12 volts, I'm going to try not to have to change the voltage at all with with buck converters. But um, so I got a 12 volt board. These come in 3.5 versions and 5 volt versions. I got a 12 volt version which is it makes it a lot simpler. So you this a lot of these are different. They're the same but different the way they're set up. Um, this one you have um, your power in right here plus negative. That's where my 12 volts is going to go in. And this is the signal from the EZB um, for this side and that's the other signal wire for this side so they can be closed in and out differently at different times or released with switches uh, with with scripts or whatever um, what is this little thing I think what that is what I come to understand is is you can make this act differently so if you want this to trigger when there's no voltage it'll close um, when there is voltage you put it on the high side and it'll, it'll stay open so it's configurable like that. Um, when you add power to it, you'll have an LED light here. And uh, when this um, when this thing closes, uh, you will have um, a light come on on each one of them, depending on which one closes. And when the one opens up, it light will go off. So it's really really pretty neat. Um, my Easy B is right here. Like I said, I think I'm going to mount them down here. I'm not sure. I can pull power 12 volts off of this and that way I'll only have to use one control pin on the digital side or I can you know what this this easy B also the the, the middle 
uh, the middle run is power. So if I have 12 volts coming into this, I have 12 volts coming out of the middle. So I can just get a regular um, servo plug, plug it in there, run it on a hole, and mount my stuff down here or, or up here. I don't know. I, we'll see what we go with that, okay? But anyway, what I'm saying is the, the easy B, when this digital pin comes on, it'll trigger this relay to go uh, to close boom and I have a uh, here's arc it used to be easy B um, it works with easy robot easy B I'm sorry this used to be easy builder and here I have two controls set up already for each one of the sides of the relay and uh, these are connected or, or set up to communicate with those two digital pins um, that I was talking about up on the easy B which will control one and the other okay now these are nice you can see uh, they're nicely soldered nice bottom but you got those solder joints that stick up there and my shelves are metal it doesn't go well together so what I like to do no matter what, what I like to do is I like to cut out a piece of plastic, take a hot glue gun, give me a tab on each side here, and smush that down in there, and it gives me a nice base for it. It's, all those solder joints are nice and protected then. Um, so I'm going to cut away, and um, since I only have one I set it two, two hands here, and I need two hands for that, I'll, I'll, I'll dab. It's, all I'm going to do is dab a piece in the corner here I'm not going to put it underneath here just one piece in the corner and then squish it down and it'd be like bolts on there okay and I think what I'll do then is put a piece of velcro and stick that down to the uh, down to the shelf um, I'm going to just get away from using nuts and bolts because velcro is awesome nowadays okay I will be right back all right I've got my plastic back attached It's uh, nice and secure. I can now lay it down wherever I want to on metal and I won't worry about it. If you guys uh, don't like using hot glue, I mean this stuff is pretty damn good now. I, I wouldn't put a lot of weight, you know, it's pull a lot of weight from it. Um, but uh, you know what, something like this is just fine. I just put a dab in each corner. If you guys don't like that, you can, I would still use the plastic, but you can run screws down through your your surface, whatever you're using. Um, I now have it, what I thought I did, I hooked it up to my Easy B to just give you a demonstration. You can see I'm uh, pulling, if you know, like I said before, the center is the center uh, row is your hot. Right now it's coming in 12 from this side, 12 volts feed in this unit. And this, that means the center pins, except for this side over here, is coming out all. Uh, uh, 12 volts on the center pin. The inside pin is your ground all the way around. Uh, this uh, this roll back back here is your ADC pins and that's totally different. You're not we're not going to talk about that today. These two rows here are your digital ports. That's what I'm hooking up to. Right now I've got hooked up to two ports. I'm pulling power off of one port. Um, and I've got two, one, two uh, signal wires hooked up. This this orange one and this white one. I should have had them both white, but I ran out of white jumpers. So she's powered up. You can see your your power light on here, and um, I am going to grab my computer. I should have had this already set up. Sorry. But you can see, um, I told you before about my ports here. Let me set this gently on top of my robot. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> I just want to be able to um, push this button. So this is one, one side of the relay, and this is the other. All right. I don't know if you heard it click. I am going to switch over here where you can see what's going on and you can actually then you can actually hear the click and see the light come on. 
There you go. I'll get the other side. Whoops, I messed it. Okay, now I can have Easy B. I'm, I'm sorry, Easy Builder, or they call it Arc now. I can put scripts in here to do that automatically. Or when I pull the power pack and get that animation, uh, that script animation going, which is this one right here, uh, I can have, and I'll do that in a minute. I'll uh, pull the power pack and um, he'll say a word and those lights will go off, okay? But we, that'll come later. So um, that, that's pretty much as easy as it gets. Um, the, the side right here is where it hooks up to the, to the light board, like I said before. So now when I, when I close one, it's closed. Now it goes, there's a little switch inside of there that, that will close the normally open side, okay? And again, I can't see, <laughs> but the center is your common. One is normally open, one is normally closed. So I'm gonna hook up to the normally open side and then what you see now is that lights on this is closed now it just switches over to that so easy as that and that in turn grounds those pins i was talking about on tom's board and the uh light effect will start so uh let me break away here and i will um hook it all up okay all righty then i have spent the afternoon wiring in these relays running all the wires up to the easy b set up software, getting everything working, testing everything, wiring into the, um, the cabinet to get in the extension. Um, so let me run through this really quick. Like I said before, I'm going to be controlling these with uh, the uh, Easy Builder software, which is now called Arc. Um, I'm using, if you recall, I had five uh, different um, patterns that I need to um, uh, activate one of them is the uh, power down for you know where everything goes dark all the lights and the rest of them are just different patterns uh, so I have five digital ports used here and the uh, the signal wires come down below here I also needed to um, wire up these relays for power so each one needed a 12 volt power feed and I tied into this uh, wiring block right here which is fused it's on the same circuit as the easy B so um, all these relays and this easy B is on the same circuit I've got that right now fused at 1 amp or 1.5 amps uh, that can change if I add more load to this easy B so um, or the circuit rather so moving down to the relays you can see the lights on them that indicates that they have power there's also a light that will come on when the relay closes so these are yellow wires these are the signal wires that attach right here so it comes down runs down this uh, corrugated tubing which is nice and flexible keeps everything safe comes up and pops in to the uh, proper spot on the wiring block on the relay unit the relay module and then the um, the power I said I'm, I'm pulling off of here it comes down right right through here and I'm using this wiring block and all the uh, the neutrals and the the hot legs are being uh, wired into the other side of this wiring block here. Uh, so this front side has got all the all the um, signal wires for for each two one signal wire for each relay, and it also has the power coming in the hot in the ground, the red and black. So now on the other side of the relay. Yeah, we have the, um, you'll notice I have the common. Each, each relay has got to have a common, so you have a normally open and a normally closed spot. And in the middle is your common, which is going to be your grounded leg that I mentioned that uh, Tom W's board needs. So I've just got that loop from one to the other, and then heads off back down 
towards the board. And then each, each one I have uh, a wire going to the normally open side so when the relay gets a signal to close uh, it'll make that circuit and ground Tom's board at the right spot and make the right um, effect happen. So you'll see here I got one, uh, here I got one, there and there. So there's there's five total. This relay in the end is just a spare. It's not being used. Now the, um, the business side of this going towards Tom's door I have coming down through here in this corrugated uh, tubing right on down through here and this will end up in the torso and plugged into Tom's board right there. I put a nice little Molex connector here because I'm gonna have to have a place to separate this when I take the torso off and put it back on just like this is here. So this will um, this will go around and plug into Tom's board which is it'll, it'll so it'll be coming right around here and plugged into that spot right there. So Basically, um, that is it. I have, uh, I want to show you how these relays work now. I have, you saw this before, here's all the, here's all the um, relays, the controls for the relays that go on and off. I have uh, written a quick little script here that will animate it for me so I don't have to keep push, pushing the buttons. I could if I wanted to um, click it on and off. You can hear it clicking in the background maybe. Green means on, red means off. Uh, this is a loop I have here. It's just basically, it sets the digital port that's hooked up to on, waits for half a second, on, the next one goes on, the next relay goes on, next relay goes on, and then sleeps for half a second, then they start turning off. Uh, goes down here, I'm gonna take this loop and make it um, it'll hit that go to back to the start right here and it'll just keep looping and looping and looping until I stop it okay um, let me run it really quick so you can see what happens you can hear it clicking in the back on and off okay I'm gonna stop this save it um, now you can see these are all green except for this one. Let's start. Let's start it again. Whoops! I had to hit the start button. Now it'll okay. It'll start looping. See how it's turning all the each one on and off here. Every time it turns red, the relay's off. Every time it turns green, the relay's on. And if we come up here, we can see it happening in real time because each relay has its own little red light on it. So, red light means on, red light goes off, it's off. All right, so basically what it's doing is it's taken and uh, shutting the relay and and closing this side of the the side of the uh, circuit and gr actually grounding each one of those uh, pins as it turns on and off because remember the green is common so in this case a lavender would be open until the relay shuts and then it connects it to the to the ground which in turn grounds Tom's board and starts the uh, animation. So let me um, shut this off again and I'll put everything back together and put the torso on and hook everything up and you can actually see it working. Okay, be right back. All right, before I put the torso back on and show you guys the final result, um, I had to do a little more wiring. Basically, I also want to talk a little bit more about um, the power pack pull animation. I've covered the um, the lights and the power pack pull animation is pretty much the same. Um, but it goes to a different spot. Uh, the right here, uh, I've already put on that, that extension that I built right here onto Tom's board. 
Um, one of those actually is for the power pack pull, but I need I need to tell this board somehow that the power pack has been pulled, other than um, just by scripts and stuff. And we want actually so it's a physical, it's an actual physical action. Um, and what I've done is I've wired a switch right here, a micro switch. Uh, pretty much the same way as, as the other ones I showed you. The, this is instead of a relay uh, for the lights, I'm using a micro switch here. And this is the inside of the torso oh, where the power pack is. So those pins you see poking through are actually for the power pack. Um, so when I pull the power pack, boom, did you see the lever move on there? And uh, let me put it back in. I'll put the power pack back in. And it, it activates, this, it closes the switch. So it's the same principle as a relay, um, but this is actually a physical thing other than a, a script thing that those relays will be uh, acting from. So it's, it's pretty simple. Just the holes. Boom, that's the relay is closed, relay is open, but it's not a relay, it's an actual switch. Um, and it's, it's hooked up a little bit differently. It'll be coming through here, and um, I've got it wired in already. Sorry, that's the, uh, the plug for the lights going to the relays. This is a, a plug for the micro switch, and it's going to a different place. It'll be plugging in here when the... When the um, uh, torso's back on and it kind of goes up and instead of hooking into one of the ADs, I'm sorry, instead of one of the uh, digital ports, this Easy B has got a um, series of ADC ports on it. I, I hope you can see that. It's kind of dark in here now. I've been working on this all afternoon and, and the sun is going down. So these are ADC ports and what actually that does is, is it shoots out power in this case, um, I think it's 3.5 volts, and uh, it'll go back to that switch. And then, when the switch is closed down there, the micro switch, this other pin here is the um, voltage in, and it actually realizes that the, that micro switch is closed because of the change in the voltage. Um, it goes from like one from zero when the uh, it reads zero when the uh, power pack is in power pack is inserted this time. Pull the power pack and uh, it'll go up to 3.3. Um, just the way I've got that switch wired. So then the software will know that the power pack has been pulled and it'll run a script for. Uh, in this case, um, it'll tell. That'll pretty much be the trigger for the voice and that um, relay to activate over here and turn off all the lights. Okay, that's how that's going to go. I don't know if that's that's clear, but um, that's the way it is. Uh, the switch, the switch closes. The ADC senses it, um, sends the uh, information over to uh, Arc, the the uh, software. Arc sends a signal to the relay to close, grounding um, the proper pin on Tom's board, and all the lights will go dead. So I will put this all together now, and you'll see what I'm talking about, okay? Be back in a minute. Alrighty then, I've got the big guy all hooked up now. You can see the lights are going. I have um, gone ahead and hooked up everything. I need to in the torso. This is the uh, main light for the uh, sorry, sorry the main the main plug uh, for the neon main power feed for the neon and sound boards and light boards. Here's that uh, plug. Hope it's not too bright. I'm gonna turn down my light a little bit. There we go. That's better. Uh, this is the plug that goes up to the um, relays. And there's another plug in here that uh, goes up to the ADC port uh, up on the for the for the power pack pull here. 
And then um, on the other side I have a couple more plugs that I show in other videos. Um, this uh, is for the, the Neon interface board um, that uh, makes a flash and this is the uh, plug for the uh, audio out for the trigger for the flash. So um, it's all hooked up. I am now going to give you an uh, idea. Um, for the power pack pull animation I have to have a script running all the time. Just watching that that micro switch that we talked about and it's a pretty easy pretty easy um, script. I gotta stop it to open it up. I'll show it to you. Basically it, uh, it sits there and waits and looks for that uh, ADC port to go below a certain voltage or a certain setting which is 150 um, and it checks it every half second and then once it sees that that switch is, um, is actually going to open up when um, actually, it actually it's a micro switch so it's, you can do it normally open normally close I have it reading um, when you pull and open it up it'll actually close so that'll send voltage through it and he'll say um, he'll say a word and then set D18 to on this, that digital port that will turn on the relay that you saw us put on there for that one animation. Um, and then it'll sit there and wait until I plug the power pack back in and it goes up above 190. And then it'll turn that relay off, shutting off the animation. It'll uh, say a word and then it'll go right back to the the top here and wait again for the for the uh, power pack to be recorded. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, power pack to be removed. So let me turn this back on, and I will show you that animation right now. It's really pretty cool. So um, just be aware that when I pull the power plaque pack all all these lights are going to go off except for these buttons that's on a different circuit I still have to get another relay for that I might use that spare that I showed you before that's up on the side of the CSS but I need to hook this into a relay also um, and hook it into that uh, program just like I showed you the rest of them so um, I'm going to pull the pack and Okay, you see, he is, uh, for all intent and purposes, dead. But again, this didn't go off because I have to hook it up to a relay yet. And I also have to put the um, audio system, I think, um, at, least the, uh, me the, at least the mechanical sounds on a relay also, so they'll shut off. Okay, so basically, I'll reinsert. Okay, pretty cool. Um, sorry I didn't have this hooked into it yet, but you get the idea. Um, I'll, I'll make some more videos. And I kind of like the way it slowly goes dead. So that's this is all hooked into that that uh, soundboard, Mike W soundboard. This will be hooked into just a relay by itself. Watching this, watching this power pack switch. One more time, put them in, bring them up. Where am I? Who turned out the lights? Now I remember. Which way did they go, partner? Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that and um, has, have an idea now about how to animate your robot, um, make different, uh, different light patterns and stuff. Uh, before I go all together, I want to show you a couple of the other ones that we have here. Um, of course, I can operate that kill switch right here. See how it just all goes dead? And again, it's just, you saw that before. So I'm just going to go up and down and um, operate these while you see how it looks. I'm going to turn the lights back on. All right, now, this one here, you see how fast it goes? I can make him really, it shows emotion, uh, agitated, thinking, whatever. 
um, slow it down. There's kind of a box. You see the box uh, pattern? And again, I can speed that up. Slow it down. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Oh, Alexa, be quiet. <laughs> um, turn that off, it goes back. There's also an alternate pattern. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, the lights will flash differently now than they were before. Now they're back to normal. Now this is a mistake I made. <laughs> um, this is supposed to be a chaser light going around. I have to fix the um, matrix behind those little circle lights. Um, I, I, I think I have a, a wire or two swapped, but it's supposed to be like a chaser light. But I don't know, I kind of like this. What do you think? That, that kind of looks cool. Um, that's actually supposed to be like a, like a scanner, scanning all the way around. But there's a the pattern messed up. And I can take this one and speed it up too. He's going crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn that off. He goes back to normal. So, there you have it. Those are the, uh, those are the five different patterns that you can get. Uh, and how you can make the power pack kill by pulling the, uh, the power pack. Making them go dark. Alright, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I will um, see you on my next video. Bye-bye.